I'm Kathleen. Welcome to Quiet Art Cafe. So in today's studio vlog, it's been a very, very busy week. I have been con prepping to sell my art at the SC Comic Con. So this event will be on April 17th and 18th. And if you guys are going to be there, comment them down below. I'd love to know. <laughs> I'm so excited to start Artist Alley content again. If you guys remember, I actually started this channel um, doing Artist Alley vlogs, vlogging my experience selling my art at these markets. And I'm so excited to make this content again. It's honestly my favorite. As you can see, I am preparing my products for my shop. Now, I temporarily closed my Etsy shop for a little bit so I can focus on con prepping and my Patreon stuff. As you can see, I'm taking some notebook designs I already had and just putting them in clear protective bags. Now, I was actually surprised. I had a lot of new products since my last convention, so I didn't have to do too much designing, which meant I could just focus on packaging what I already had and restocking on a few new products. But once my notebooks are packaged, I go ahead and stack them in a little box like this so they're easy to flip through and sort through. And right here, I'm working on a pin display. Now, I was honestly so surprised I had so many pin designs. <laughs> and it's thanks to my patrons I'm able to make new pins every single month. It's always been my dream to start a pin collection, and it's so cool to watch it grow, honestly. <laughs> I go ahead and use a cork board, which makes up about 90% of my display. <laughs> but I'm obsessed with cork boards right now. They're so versatile and easy to use. Right here, I am preparing some of my sticky notes. Now, these are actually a really popular product in my Etsy shop. I did have to close my shop temporarily so I can keep hold of stock for this convention. I go ahead and wrap each sticky note into a clear cellophane bag like this. Now I do wish I had a clear bag that was like the exact size of the sticky notes, but these will have to do for now. And next I go ahead and stack them on my homemade display. Now I actually show how I make this in one of my old studio vlogs. I'm not sure which one. <laughs> It's been a while, but I think they look very cute, simple, and colorful on this homemade display stand. And next, I wanted to spruce up my pricing displays. If you guys remember, I used to put my pricings on these little chalkboard heart clips and decided I needed something a little bit more professional but still super cute. So I ended up designing these cute little rainbow signs. I printed them out on some cardstock like so. And then wanted to laminate them. So I put them in the clear laminate and put it through my laminator. Just to give it a little bit of extra sheen and sturdiness. And I'm hoping I can reuse these with every con. Let's see. I go ahead and grab some scissors and cut them out. Now, I could have probably put these through my cutting machine and got like a perfect cut, but to be honest, I was a little bit in a rush and a little lazy. I didn't feel like programming each single rainbow to cut out, so I just roughly hand cut it and I think it still looks good. What do you guys think? <laughs> and right here, I got a very special package. Um, I did an art trade with my friend Pixie Shop on Instagram. Now, I absolutely love her artwork. I admire her so much. She is like a polymer clay artist and she makes very cute charms and jewelry. So opening the package, I already knew I was in love with the pink packaging. You can tell she put a lot of care and love into her little gifts. A little, little handwritten note and oh my gosh, look at these froggy stickers. They're so cute. Came with some prints. And I love the little washi tape she used. You can tell that she very carefully packaged this. 
And upon opening, I got this very cute button and a little jewelry bag. And some accessories. I got these adorable, adorable bunny earrings, which I'll wear indefinitely. <laughs> I love bunnies and anything pink. And then a little bunny necklace, which is so, so cute. I love it so much. Thank you so much, Pixie Shop, for your gifts. Everything is so cute and exactly in my style. I can't wait to wear these. <laughs> And next, I wanted to update my button display. So I already had this made, but noticed it was very dusty and not cute. So I decided to clean it up a little bit, spruce it up. So first, I remove all the buttons and earth magnets I used. Go ahead and give it a good wipe. Remove the lights to clean everything. And then I went ahead and cleaned every single button. And once I'm done, I then attach the magnets back behind the buttons and then put them on the whiteboard all nice and organized. I try to attach it to each character groups and it looks so much cuter once they're all organized and cleaned. Again, I use another bookend. Um, I got these from Walmart, they're pretty affordable. And I scan them on like so. Then on the top, I use the little handmade rainbow signs that I made earlier. Next, I'm working on some resin charms over here. So this is actually a clip of my mom. She is attaching the homemade clasp or keychain parts to the resin keychain. These are one of my favorite products. I think they're so cute. Once you're done making the charms and creating the keychain, this is what they look like. Now, if you guys are interested in making resin charms, I actually have a resin tutorial here on my channel. Yep. After you're done making the charms, I then attach them onto my very old jewelry rack. If you guys watched my first Artist Alley vlog, I got this so long ago, but she's still strong and sturdy and I love it. I love how like colorful the charms look together. They honestly look like candy to me, which I think is super cute. They really fill up the table and these are actually like one of my most popular products in my shop. <laughs> I think the result is just so satisfying and pretty. And so here's a sneak peek of my table. Um, this isn't the definite setup just yet, but this is kind of like me practicing at home. As you can see, there's my sticky note stand, my charm stand I showed you guys, the pin board, a couple of notebooks, and I'm still working on a couple more sticker displays. Those are still a work in progress, but that's what I have so far. And to end the video, I received a package from my friend Violet Jim Art. She's a super talented artist and good friend that I met on Instagram. Now, as you guys can tell, I've been really enjoying these art trades. Uh, since conventions have been on hold, I've been doing a couple art trades with some friends and mutuals on Instagram. Right here. I love her little shop mascots. They're so cute, especially her little corgi. I think it's so unique and adorable. And there's something about her artwork that's just so like bright and cheerful. It honestly just reminds me of sunshine. It's so cute. Here's her business card. Please go give her a follow and show her your support. And then the memo pad and all the cute little details. I love every single little thing about this package. And of course the pin, oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. <laughs> Thank you so much Violet Jim Art for the amazing package. I loved everything you sent me. <laughs> All right, and that concludes the video. Thank you for convention prepping with me and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Instagram ever since I like just started out maybe like two years ago